Have you been looking at Windows X Lite and thinking, should I be on Windows 10 or Windows 11? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the latest version of Optimum 10 versus Optimum 11. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Alright, so that's going to start us with our first custom ISO, which is Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 5.11 and dot 11 just signifies the fact that it's windows 10 or windows 10 custom iso but with the windows 11 interface which is pretty damn funky so guys once you install the iso you will see um this little resources pack you've got a whole bunch of funky wallpapers that you can set um there's some more info on windows x lite uh you got some guides you got some links to windows x lite uh facebook a uh, youtube channel the official website where you can download the isos and a whole bunch more same as yesterday i'm just going to go through post install basically once installed um x -Lite, these are the little tweaks that are pre-backed into the system which just makes installing um, a lot quicker so you'll see that windows updates are paused by default to the year 3000 so i don't know about you but I'm not going to be around in the year 3000, so it should have you covered. Ha uh ha. -huh. And then, obviously, I did mention it's got a Windows 11 interface on a Windows 10 custom ISO. It's very cool. Virtual memory is set to zero by default or 16 megabytes, which is the lowest amount. But I like to set that to eight gigabytes. Uh, UAC is uh, switched off by default. Pretty cool. Saves time. Task manager, you can see just after doing the install, only nine background processes and 35 Windows processes. So that's 44 processes. Uh, split threshold, it's very a very um, cool little tweak pre-built in. So if you don't have your split threshold set above your RAM amount, you're gonna have about 60 to 80 uh, service host packets. Once you set the split threshold above your RAM amount, uh, RAM amount on your system. The service host packets go from 60 to 80 down to 20 to 15. So you save on RAM, you save on CPU. And what service host is basically, in the old um, days of Windows, when Windows was 32-bit, you could only have 4 gigs of RAM on your system. So they used to packet services together, but with the advent of Windows 64-bit, you don't need uh, you can have an uh, indefinite amount of ram available so you don't have to pack up the services use the extra cpu use the extra ram so setting spare th threshold above that amount just kills all those service size packets and it saves you a lot of resources spec and meltdown switched off by default which does save me time not having to put that into reg edit RAM usage, very low, only 1.3 gigabytes as I installed the custom ISO. It will be low for you if you've got 16 gigs or 8 gigabytes on your system. I've got 24 gigabytes. Uh, there's no bloat whatsoever. Um, context menu has been modified, quite cool. And uh, earlier I did show you the processes, but yeah, you can see zero CPU, very little RAM. And Windows process is down to 45, so that's pretty cool. And then just lastly, um, uh, the visual effects have been set to performance. I actually don't use all these options. I only use four of these options, but that's a, a tweak that was made preemptively, which is quite cool. So guys, um, yeah, not a lot else to say before I move on. Didn't have a lot to do in, um, in the actual Windows settings. I just went through privacy and switched off all the privacy op some options other than camera, microphone, voice activation. Uh, system, I just changed my refresh rate. Updates, don't have to do anything. Uh, Windows uh, security, this is a install without Windows Defender, so that's quite cool. And guys, that brings us to the end of Windows 10 or Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 5.11. I'll be moving on to the Windows 11 version. So I'll catch you in that now. Cheers. Right, in our second custom ISO, I'm gonna be having a look at Windows X Lite Optimum 11 23H2 version three. Quite a mouthful, but a nice operating system. So um, just like in the video I did before, I'm not gonna go through all the things that are similar to 
when, uh, optimum 10 i'm just going to show you the things that um, are slightly different on optimum 11. so first and foremost task manager in terms of ram usage we're sitting at 1.8 gigabytes a little bit bigger uh, processes are down to 45 to 53 odd uh, and then also in task manager you can see background processes 9 windows processes 42 but bear in mind um, I'd actually already started installing stuff once I realized oh damn I've got to do this um, in terms of power options I didn't actually make mention of, of it in optimum 10 but I love the fact that uh, with certain installs of Windows, you manually have to add in wireless adapter settings, uh, processor power management, uh, minimum and maximum processor state. Um, so it is nice that it, this is pre-baked into the custom ISO. Um, and then just furthermore, in terms of bloat, there's other than start or black, a little thingy has, um, that the guy sets up to make everything transparent and all that there's no bloat whatsoever um, in fact I go as far to say I'm not going to give away my results now that's next but I go to far as far as to say this is the way to install Windows 11 at the moment um, only thing is different obviously uh, you got your start menu which isn't like the typical Windows 11 start menu everything else functions pretty much the same uh, updates are paused to the year 3000, so I don't think you should have a problem with that. Um, only thing I don't like about Windows 11 is the privacy and security section. To switch all these options off is quite a ball lag. Windows 10, you can just go dish, 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 dish. Yeah, as soon as you switch something off, you have to scroll down again to find your place. It's a little bit annoying, but that's just Windows 11 in general. Uh, something I absolutely love about Windows 11 is... Uh, the black task manager, I have mentioned this previously, I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, yeah, uh, look, there's not much else for me to mention. I'm just going to go straight into my results. So let's get to it. And that brings us squarely to our results. So guys, the comparison was Windows X Lite 10 versus 11, not XOS, sorry. So first I have my Windows optimized version, same as yesterday, and then I have Optimum 10 version 5.11, then Optimum 11 version 3, 23H2. I hope I'm getting that right. So all my games are tested in medium settings with the exception of the latest games. I do test on GTX 1650 laptop, so the newer games are on low settings. Uh, FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is set to quality. Um, as mentioned, I do test on a GTX laptop, so if you're on an RTX card, please take note, your results may vary. I can't say anything beyond that. I can't tell you what the performance is going to be like on your laptop. I just know GTX 1650 and, lap and a card similar to that will probably re react similarly to uh, my, my test over here. And then lastly, I did use the latest NVIDIA driver 546.17 for my testing. So guys, um, my Windows optimized version, um, over how many games is this? Over 12 games, I add up all the average FPS, I get to 800, add up all the 1% lows, get to 619, and then add up all the 0.1% lows, get to 541. So guys, this is just my, my standard up-to-date Windows 10 with my own optimizations, um, stock standard, well, for me in any way. And then against the first custom ISO, which is Optimum 10 version 5.11, that's Windows 10 with 11 interface. So over those 12 games, I add up all the average FPS and I get to 801. Uh, add up all the zero, uh, all, all the 1% lows and I get to 619. And then add up all the 0.1% lows and get to 537. So guys, um, I quite highly rate my Windows optimization. So the fact that uh, Optimum 10 version 5.11 pretty much hits the same results. I actually think Windows Optimum 10 or the latest version of is pretty damn good. And then uh, on Optimum 11 versus 323H2, the nice thing about um, using a custom ISO for Windows 11, I'd have to say, is the fact that you don't have to worry about an online account. You can switch off Windows Defender if you want before you even go into the operating system. 
as well as uh, you, know, you just have a much bloated version of Windows 11. So it can be your optimal experience of Windows 11, I'd say. So uh, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 799. So pretty much the same. When I add up all the 1% lows, uh, um, there were, were one or two outliers here, but I actually got slightly low 1% lows in terms of, well, in total it came to 614, but not major. And then when I add up all the 0.1% lows, um, at the, oh, it says 59. It's meant to be 529. Sorry about that. My two button doesn't work sometimes. So uh, the one uh, the 1% lows are slightly lower on this um, on Optimum 11 version 323H2, and then the 0.1% lows are also slightly lower than both Optimum 10 version 5.11 and my optimized version of Windows 10. So all in all guys, I'd have to say um, Optimum 10 version 5.11 tax the cake for me. I absolutely love the, the, custom, uh, the custom ISO. And if I ever had to use Windows 11, which I have been toying with the idea lately, I'd probably use Optimum 11 version 323H2. It's super battery smooth and there are a whole bunch of optimizations pre-backed into the uh, so it's all right guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you have any questions please hit me up in the comment section and as always guys if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet now's the time to do so it's saturday enjoy your day it's people like you cheers